RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Farm Progress 2013 is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, bringing plant potential to life. Tell me about uh, a little bit of excitement last night. Your company actually received two awards here at Canada's Farm Progress Show. So tell me about that. Yeah, it was quite an honour. Last night uh, we received two awards. Uh, this here is the Rotating Bale Grapple, which we took home the gold uh, award with. It was a nice surprise and very honoured with that. The Rotating Bale Grapple, um, what it does is it uh, grabs two bales off of your semi-trailer in the yard when you're getting ready to stack the bales and the rotating portion will actually tip two bales 90 degrees in uh, a method of mushroom stacking your hay. So you can take two bales evenly, nicely stacked, twist them 90 degrees and once you get a row you can grab two bales and set on top for the mushroom stack. Now, tell me some of the advantages of mushroom stacking. Not everybody does it, but for those that do, um, what's the theory behind it? Uh, a couple points on mushroom stacking. Uh, mainly, uh, your strings and net wraps are not frozen down to the ground. Um, the other advantage is it uses a third the real estate. So there's your hay yard doesn't need to be as, uh, as large. And then another main advantage we found is there's a lot less wildlife damage. Uh, the, the wildlife can no longer climb up on top of that stack and uh, contaminate the hay. This here is our uh, bale cart. It holds 10 round bales. Uh, its main purpose is for accumulating the bales in the field. It is uh, quite useful on short hauls up to three miles. Um, but if you're hauling any further than that, we feel it's most economical uh, to row your bales up in the field and come along with a semi-trailer unit and uh, load the bales and haul them home at that time. This cart, the way it works is it picks every bale up and it sets it down on the same spot. So in a sense, you could actually pick up a bale and move it 10 times before the integrity of that bale is ever damaged. It's very uh, gentle on your strings and net wrap. Um, it's a maintenance free unit, there's no uh, moving parts, no electric over hydraulics. We've even gone to polylu bushings and all the hinge points so there's no greasing uh, need to be done on this unit. Um, it allows a, a hay producer to accumulate the hay, it also allows the cattlemen to feed hay. We've used this uh, particular unit for bale grazing in the fall and through the winter. Um, we'll simply drive through our original stack, load 10 bales in a matter of seconds and drive out to the location where we're going to set the bales down and we can set one bale down at a time so we can stagger the dropping of the bales so we have a nice, you know, even distribution of bales for bale grazing.